May I have your attention, please? You are about to experience one of the finest pieces of technology on the planet. No, it's not the new Star Trek movie. Ha, ha, ha. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm sure it's good. No, I am talking about the brand new release candidate, just released, Linux Mint 15 Olivia. So how good is this? Well, stick around because we are going to find out. All right, welcome back. I thought I would make the opening a little bit more grandiose. Forgive me for that if it's too much. Anyway, this is Linux Mint 15 running inside a virtual machine with Ubuntu Unity as the host. Now, those of you who have been kind enough to follow my channel know that love Ubuntu Unity. I love Linux Mint probably even a little bit better. And I thought I would take a look at this. I got word of this just last night as I got home late that there is a brand new Linux Mint 15. Now this is the Mate or Mate edition. There is also a Cinnamon edition. Don't know if I will be taking a look at Cinnamon, but uh, if you want me to, sure I can take a look at that. I prefer Linux Mint Mate uh, because at least in my one of my uh, ThinkPads it runs a little bit faster and it's uh, more stable than Cinnamon. But this is the default desktop for Linux Mint 15 Olivia. This is Mate is the new GNOME 2. Those of you who fell in love with GNOME 2 and then were a little bit disgruntled when the Genome or GNOME 2 got switched to GNOME 3, GNOME Shell, and you have all of the other various you know contraptions, offshoots, forks of the previous Linux-based operating systems. Many of you just got kind of ticked off and I completely understand that. Uh, Linux Mint uh, the folks at Linux Mint were very smart in bringing back the GNOME 2 type of desktop environment. And I love this, and let me show you why this is perfect really for anybody, whether you are a newbie or not a newbie. First of all, you can right click as you usually can, <laughs> uh, and you can go into various uh, settings here, preferences, you know, themes, backgrounds, uh, fonts, and it looks like this is fully loaded with different kinds of wallpaper, you know, theme. And one thing I do about, uh, I like about this right here, it says click or get more themes online to let you browse and customize this any way that you want to. Alright, let's get out of this. Another nice thing about this is the panel here. Now ignore the very top panel and the and the bottom panel, the very bottom panel that's part of the virtual box. But here, this panel here where it says menu running across, you can right click and you can add to panel. I really miss this in GNOME Shell and Ubuntu Unity. Now this may seem a little bit oversimplified, but it's I am a mouse person. You know, sometimes I'll have the phone in one hand or a drink in one hand and, you know, the mouse in my right hand. I'm trying to do two things at one time. This is very, very, con you know, very convenient. And one thing would be, you know, to add any extra uh, app or applet, widget, whatever you want to call it, that you want to. Let's try, uh, well, for example, the trash. Something simple. Add that. You can see here, I just added the trash icon. And you can move this, you know, any way you want to. And... Anyway, I'll just leave it there for now. Click that. It'll bring up the trash. Of course, I haven't uh, trashed anything yet. Ha, 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 ha. But I think you get the picture. If you go to uh, Properties, uh, if you want to, you can move this to the top. Now, again, you would think this is so uh, convenient the, and so simple. Why would, they, why would some developers remove this in some modern operating systems? I don't know. You tell me if you are a developer. All right, moving along. Of course, the default wallpaper, double-click computer. This will get you to the file manager. And this is probably, what is this, uh, Kaja 1.6.1. Kaja lets you organize files and folders. Again, very easy. You can switch between icon view, list, compact, and so on and so forth. And I do like the minimum maximize and exit out buttons close windows 
All right, Mint's home. This will take you back here. Again, very familiar if you are running Mint now or if you are coming from a Windows environment. Super easy. You can double click this if you wanted to install. I, of course, do not want to install this. I'm just running this as a test in a virtual machine. But I think you get the picture of just how easy and simple and modern how this runs. I love it. Let's quit that. Yes, I would like to quit right now. All right, well, let's go to the Mint menu, and I also love this. You may have seen this before, or you may have this running a previous version of Linux Mint Mate or Mate. Of course, all of your shortcuts are here. You can toggle between favorites and all applications. You have a nice search bar here. If you wanted to search for something, let me type in LIB lib, and it'll bring up the various features of LibreOffice that are installed and LibreOffice base calc you know you can really type in anything here that you want oh let's see let's type in um, VLC now VLC is not installed by default but it'll let you get information or find it or install VLC if you so choose to again very handy search bar here at the bottom and if you see here at the bottom right it says install VLC package if you wanted to you can install that now again this is a virtual machine I'm just running this for testing purposes so right now I can either click uh, install or cancel again extremely user friendly you can toggle back and forth here as I said the main shortcuts are here let's try system monitor and this is using a whopping, whopping, whopping 173 megabytes of RAM. Ooh, that's way too much. Nah, I'm just kidding. Isn't this wonderful? You know, all of you, or not all of you, some of you who complain, man, Unity is no good, and this ain't no good, and that ain't no good. I love Unity, and I understand some of your gripes, but if you're looking for something modern, efficient, simple, you know something that just plain works check out Linux Mint 15 this is the release candidate not quite finalized but usually an RC is quite almost to the final stage so I, I have you know confidence in this that if you download this and do the updates you should be fine running this on your virtual machine it runs Zibby uh, it runs uh, quickly it hasn't crashed and I haven't done a full test but I, I'm quite confident that if you would install this once it's finalized and run all the updates, you should be in good shape. Linux Mint, the team at Linux Mint, you are one of the best. You guys love it as a Windows user. This is terrific. I have this installed in one of my laptops, you know, just for when I'm in the mood for something different. You know, right now, if I had to pick one for a complete Linux, you know, dummy, new user, someone who needs help, check out Linux Mint Mate. Can't go wrong. Super easy, super friendly. Check it out. I absolutely love it. Linux Mint, thank you once again for releasing another fine release candidate. All right, I think that's it for this review. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. If you want me to take a look at Cinnamon, uh, sure, I can do that. That's it. Thank you so much for watching this review. And as always, I will catch all of you sometime in your Linux Mint future. Adiós.